Hey guys, it's Adam here at DirectionTrader.com. Um, I'm going to come in here and capture a long position here on the ES. What's happened is um, the market has now got a little bit of a rally popped up. And normally we do a lot of the, the smaller time frame positions. Uh, but in this uh, in this case here, we do have a longer time frame um, trade set up. So we're going to go long here at 15.02, two contracts. So long at 15.02, uh, first contract 15.02.50. And then the final target is going to likely be up here at like 15.05 ish so 1505 and now let's let it play out um, once this gets two we're going to go ahead and move our second to minus four so now we're basically risking twenty five dollars because we made twenty five on the first uh, first contract now we're risking twenty five dollars total if this tops us out in order to make this entire move which is about three and a half points so that's what we're doing right now um, I just wanted to capture this because usually we're using micros here and um, and actually on this one we're using a longer time frame 1600 tick rather than the, the 512 tick on the ES so um, it's now went five ticks in our direction so we're going to limit all risk 100% risk free, so now we're either going to make $25 or 3.5 points. So, not a bad trade setup. We'll sit here and see how long this takes. Um, and if it's going to take a while, we're going to, I'm going to pause it and I'll come back and, and show you whether we get stopped out or we hit our target. I'll come back and, uh, and, and show you, um, you know, what, what happened. But uh, basically, um, we were. Uh, we were oversold on longer and shorter time frames, and we had a low tick. Um, so we're just going to sit here and be patient and see. Um, money management, like I said, we're either going to make $25 or 3.5 points. So sit here and wait. We are going to have a little chop in this area because people are going to see that this went from, you know, it sold off quite a bit here in a smaller time frame. There are going to be people looking to short potentially at this minor or micro whatever you want to call it, Fibonacci short um, let's just uh, we're just hoping that you know it doesn't pull back too far and then uh, ultimately um, the longer uh, the longer trend will uh, ultimately prevail which is the uh, the trend to the upside so um, we'll sit here and watch this and see and uh, we'll see what's happening moving forward we had a nice bounce here at the bottom and now we're just trading back up. Should get us just in front of them previous highs. Let me blow this up a little bit here, guys. Yep, even if we exit at 1605, that's going to be well in front of the previous highs. So we should have no issue here getting up to our target here. This is a micro. This 1604 or 1504 is going to be a micro resistance here. So, um, um, I really don't think that's going to hold us. We got a lot of momentum behind us right now. So, 1505, I'm going to leave my target there and uh, we'll just sit here and wait. So, let me uh, let me pause this. I'll come back and tell you exactly what happens. Um, or, I mean, I can sit here and talk. Basically, what I'm watching here, I want to see the ticks start making newer highs. What I didn't like to see right here was whenever it got up to plus 400. It got shot right down here. We want to see this head up and eventually start to use the zero level as a uh, as a support or as like a base level. Um, this going plus 400, minus 400, plus 400, minus 400. That's not what we're looking for. We want to see some conviction one way or another. Um, so basically, it'd be nice if this is, this tick broke up. We got a plus 500, 600 tick reading uh, eventually, and started using um, you know the zero level as somewhat of support. Um, that would uh, you know that would give us 
you know, a little encouragement like this right here. This is what we're looking for. A little push here, a little higher tick, and then when it comes back, if if, if you know if it doesn't go up and fill us at 1505 um, before it pulls back, when it pulls back, maybe test like you know test like zero as the support level. That would be ideal for us. So that's what I'm watching. We're basically going to manage this by using the internals. Um, everything else, the breath and all that's starting to turn up. So. We're retesting this 1504, 1504 quarter. That's we knew that's going to be a uh, a little bit of a resistance. Let's hope it doesn't, uh, you know, actually, you know, come to uh, be a be a total resistance here where, where it comes back to the to the short side. But we knew it's going to be a little bit of a uh, consolidation area. Now let's watch these ticks. Let's see if they sell off back down to minus 400. If that's the case. We're likely just to come back and we're going to find this is resistance and it's going to sell back off. So down here watching the ticks real closely. We want to see this come back to about the zero level. Find a little bit of a base or a support and continue back to the upside. So Sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes trading is like watching paint dry, which is, uh, it is part of it, but Boy, oh boy. So we got the tick pulling back here. Let's see where it finds the support. If we get a bounce here, this is a, a very good sign. If this uh, starts to bounce right here, this is a really good sign. Um, you know, for us being long. Um, so let's see here. Got a little spike down. Let's see if we can hold the zero minus 100 somewhere in here rather than going all the way back down to minus 400. We'd rather see it start to use this as a zero level as a, uh, as a support in a way. So we will see. If not, like I said, we got a risk free trade $25 on this current position. We got uh, plus two with one contract. And then the second contracts at the uh, at the entry price. So money management, we got it. Um, you know, we have our orders in the correct spot. But let's see here. See if we can get some buyers in here. I hate letting this video run because who knows how long it would be, but yet this is one of them positions where you know one spike and it you know it's gonna be over. So I just wanna I wanna see if we can catch a, a nice spike here in the tick and uh, you know the market can run up there pretty quickly, you know. So um you know I am gonna go ahead and pause this and uh, I'll come back and show you um, whether I get stopped out or um you know, or this goes on to uh, uh, reach its target. So I'll be right back. What I'm watching for is this tick to come up here and, and at least get 500, 600 back out of it. Um, at least we didn't sell back off to minus 400 again. That is what we're looking for. Well, I was going to pause this, but this may be that spike I'm telling you about. We just we want to see this spike back up. We only got to minus 100-ish here, which is what we're looking for. Hopefully we were looking to you know use maybe zero, but minus 100 is a lot better than minus 400. Let's see this go ahead and make a new high here, um, you know at least above this uh, this last high, and uh, spike back up. But if this does come back, let's use the zero level as somewhat of a support, and then bounce back up. So let me pause this. Who knows how long this is going to take, and then I will be right back to uh, show you either whether I get stopped out at reduced risk or um, or actually went on to the final target. So, all right, here I want to come back on and show you what the final outcome was. We did get stopped out um, at a reduced risk. So we made twenty-five dollars on the position. Um, this uh, the buyers just weren't there, guys. Um, they did not come in like we had planned. Uh, basically, the tick was struggling to get above the four or five hundred. Um, four or five hundred levels so as soon as um, 
you know, obviously this this uh, spike came down and we retested the minus 400 um, market immediately shut down and uh, got our, our stop. But that's fine. Um, it was good money management. We got into a very low risk trade here on a Fibonacci pullback in the direction of the, um, you know, the 1600 tick here. And um, basically we just managed it by watching the, watching the nice tick over here. And whenever we had that spike up originally, right here at um, 741, it gave us confirmation that we uh, we were in the right direction, and we got our our limited risk um, basically immediately. And so, by the way, by by managing the money properly, we uh, you know we we helped ourselves uh, not get completely stopped out here, like. Um, like this position is doing right now. So now we've made a uh, lower, you know, even lower, lower ticks here. So, all right, that was a trade, a uh, reduced risk trade. Um, I'm kind of happy I was able to record it. That way we can show um, how we use money management and uh, the value of managing your money properly. So, not bad, reduced risk trade, but uh, we'll take them all day long and then we'll need one or two winners and we are golden. So, that's it for this trade. Hope you enjoyed it.